In this video, I'm going to show you how to record in GarageBand. You finally got that new MacBook and want to start making some bangers, but don't know how to even use it. Or were you told that you need some expensive industry standard software like Pro Tools to start? Well, you're in luck. I'm Tate Vaughn, a professional audio engineer who has worked in places like mega churches to government agencies, and I want to show you how to start recording music for free if you are a Mac user. First, you'll be asked to choose your track type. So when you open it up, this is what you see right here. You can record MIDI, or you can record vocals, and even record instruments like guitars, or drums, or keyboards. So what you wanna do first is make sure your microphone is plugged into your audio interface. So I'm not plugged into audio interface right now, but what you'll see right here is in your input, and it'll come up saying whatever your interface is. So most likely, if you have a Scarlet, it'll come up with a Scarlet, or if you have a UAD interface, it'll come up like that. You can even click I want to hear my instrument as I play and record. So if you kind of want to, you know, play the guitar, you want to hear what you are playing, you can do that. And output, mine is right here, MacBook Air speakers, but if I was in my studio, it will be my audio interface. So once you figure out which one you want to do, record vocals, or you want to plug in the guitar, you click create track. So right here, we're going to go to record using a microphone or line input and hit create. And basically right from the jump, it works. As you can see, audio is coming in right here. So let's go over some of these things right here. So the big red button right here is obviously your record button. Square button is your stop. This is your play button, your forward and your rewind. This is your playhead information right here. So it's set the bars, uh, 120 BPM. The, um, the key signature is C, time signature is four, four time. It comes with a tuner. You can do a count in and it has a metronome or a click track. You can mute your tracks right here or you can solo it. This is a very beginner friendly audio workstation. So now let's look down here. So we have some controls right here. You can set your record level, your input. You have plugins right here. You have a compressor. You have also EQ. You have your master, your output right here. Okay, so let's go record something. I'm not no singer or I'm not a singer. So you just have to make do with just my talking voice. So um, let's make sure everything is set up first. So we're gonna go up here to GarageBand, go to settings, audio MIDI. My output is the MacBook Air speakers, the microphone. So right here, this is where you have your your inputs off of your audio interface. So everything is set. Now, um, so let's do without a count in and the click chart. So you just simply hit record. And as you can see, the playhead is going and it's capturing audio. Yeah guys, so that's it. Real easy, really simple to record something. And GarageBand is very user friendly. And if you have a MacBook guys, you have this for free. So, and if you don't have a MacBook, uh, I have another video on how to record in FL Studios. I highly recommend FL Studios. It's very budget friendly as well. If you have FL Studios or you're thinking about getting FL Studios, click this video right here and I'll show you how to get started recording vocals. Okay guys, I'll see you there.